hello welcome back to my youtube channel it's Don here so today i'm with you with a new release from our lovely julia oh they're absolutely gorgeous so i have um a project prep just to the side of me um but i'm just going to quickly show you the brand new stamps oh they're gorgeous so julia is on um Hachanda again which is a fabulous news on the 22nd of march i'm not sure when this is going to go up i don't know if it'll it's just, i think this will probably go up today um on the 22nd so um they'll be up on her channel so there'll be links in the description box below but we have four brand new stamp sets and you all loved the last lot of birds and um, the last lot of quirky birds well we have more quirky birds so quickly we have harold so here he is and do you know these are lovely to color in he's absolutely gorgeous to color in because there's so much space we also have accessories that come with him so he has um, a flower he's got this leaf and a cloud and then his sentiment is don't forget every now and then a to be silly so there's that one the next one is our royston is so so cute and so so quirky um again he comes with uh, two flowers so we've got one with a stem and a uh, side view and then one which is like full on with this little leaf and then we have two gorgeous um sentiments within this one so we've got we are all unique and you're amazing just the way you are we then go on to floor and floor i love this border this border is just absolutely gorgeous i think it's just beautiful so um we do have our lovely floor so the rose pattern that's in her feathers we have the rose there and we've got it also in a border which i think is just lovely and then we also have a little heart as well and the uh, sentiment for this one is um, what good are wings without the courage to fly and then our very last new stamp set is this one and this is the one that I'm working with today and I'm going to be working with the frame um, but we have the frame and then we have um, our lovely lashes Edna so Julia did release um, the full image of Edna last time this is uh, just Edna's face which is just absolutely gorgeous and perfect for yeah just yeah love 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 um we also get a heart as well and then the sentiment on this i just absolutely love is sassy but classy that's lady because she's very sassy um also on the show we have the micro chirp um so she has that back in stock so which is awesome because it's one of my favorites and who doesn't love micro chirp we've got the two um so we've got this daffodil which are actually perfect for now because we have um oh because it is coming into spring and my daffodils are blooming in the garden so lady didn't ruin them when i planted them last year lady kept um, digging them up but they have all come through so i'm so so happy uh, so yeah so perfect for this time of year um we've also got a little background stamp of some bubbles you can see mine are well used i absolutely love them and then we've got better and oops than a what if on the sentiment we also have this one which is electric field so these are just like filler stamps which are just a fab but definitely definitely something that i'm glad she's brought back because we've got our little bumblebee we have a butterfly we've got another couple of flowers and then we have this really cool sort of um star pattern i don't know what you would call it but i really like it we also have the stencil in that as well and then the sentiment on this one is believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable and then she's also got these two as well which were launched back in um i think it was the first of february so for her um anniversary show and it is the daisy it is dotty daisy and polka dot florals so these are the accompanying stamps to the ladies but like i said absolutely perfect for now aren't they so if you didn't get the chance to get them back in february they are now available there's also papers on and stencils so yeah lots and lots of fab stuff right let's move them out of the way so i have decided today i'm going to make a mirror so i've already prepped quite a bit so i've just cut a random shape out of cardboard and then put two pieces together just so it's nice and sturdy and thick and then i've cut two pieces um i've stamped the image of the frame so using lovely lashes edna 
so this one so I've stamped this frame twice on some cardboard and then just using a craft knife I have cut them out I've left this bit in on this side but I have taken out there and then I do have some mirror paper um, so I'm just going to keep it that way for now until we do stick it down um, and we're going to put some mirror paper in it because I just thought how cool is that <clears throat> to make our very own little mirror so I also have so I have cut this out and I was thinking that I may stick that on there because I think that would be quite nice um, to cover it so we do need to cut that out and then I have lots and lots of bits already um, coloured up um, that we can use so I'm thinking oh actually no I think I'm going to go with the the funky coloured one but I'm thinking where is our lovely lashes um, like I said I've got lots and lots and no that's not there I've got loads of flowers done because you know, all know me very well I love my florals so um, it was probably the first thing that I did colour in um, I can't find our lovely lashes I'm absolutely positive I coloured her in where are you? Um, so, because I did a couple of each colour. Um, yeah. Oh, there she is. Okay, so I coloured it up in three colours. I forgot to colour the flower in on that one. But I thought she could just sit on the frame just like that. Um, yeah. How gorgeous is that? So I th yeah, I think I'm going to go with the pink. Yeah. the Oh, oh the blue. Um, pink. Yeah, let's go with the pink. And then I want some of the flowers out. So, because I thought it'd be quite nice maybe to put some of the flowers around her. Um, I've left some white as well. So I've just coloured the centre and left them white. Because I thought, how nice would it be just to have a white flower? So... Yeah, just to show you don't need to add a lot of colour. Um, I quite like those ones. I need smaller flowers. So, what do we have? Um, now, I've got lots of flowers from these ones, but I don't think... I think I've pulled them all out when... Yeah, we haven't got all of them there. So... Hmm. I do have some bumblebees though. Oh, yeah, I think we could have a little, a few bumblebees. Maybe a heart. Um, yeah, I quite like that. I think the red heart though, instead of the pink one. Um, but I definitely want a flower, so I'm just not sure which flower I want to use yet. Um, Oh, we could use that one and put the B on top. Yeah, I think that one. Right, okay. Let's just move that out of the way. So, my plan today is... Let's move this arm set out of the way. Um, is I just need to cut out the centre here. Um, but I also need to cut this right um, to the edge because I have left a white border on it. Um, I was planning on using the pink one, but I think this one's much better. So, I'm going to use this one. Um, but I just wanted to make something really fun and quirky. So I'm going to paint it. Um, so we'll get some uh, colours out. And I think definitely have to bring in some souffles. The other thing is I'm trying to decide, which actually I might do, is put the mirror card on, but then should we turn it into a shaker and add some really funky sequins? So it's like, how fun would that be um, to gift out? It'd be really f so instead of a birthday card it'll be like a shaker mirror and then you can on the back you can put your little message and I just think that would be really cool especially for a little girl um yeah definitely really cool I know my nieces would probably absolutely love this um definitely love this I might have to make them both one for Easter um so just all the way around okay so that's nice and then this bit there's two options we can do so we can either use our craft knife um, and cut this out or you can actually just use your scissors I'll just get my ruler 
so if you put a little hole in you can cut around it with your scissors but um, I think I'm just going to use my craft knife just because I have it out on the table and yeah oh actually I probably should have done my <laughs> so I've just gone a bit off course there should have used my scissors I mean Kat you ha I, I have the, um, the ruler there for a guide and I still went off course but it's fine because when we've stuck it down it'll all be good now I'm going to paint it in black um, because I think black heart hides a multitude of sins so um, if we've yeah it'll just make it look better and then um, I think I'll come in with some mousses nouveau mousses um, just to make it nice and sparkly so okay I've got that done and I'll take that out so there we have it you do just need to cut up there um, so let's just I'm just going to go in with my scissors just because I really don't want any white showing and obviously I've missed it there okay and then I've just got a little bit here as well so again I just want to cut that down a bit right there we go okay so there's that done right what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab my um, black gesso and I'm going to move that out this way I'm going to paint this this and this using my black gesso um, and once it's dry I will come back okay so I'm back right now I've painted these black but what I've noticed is this bit around here and I'm not liking it so what I think I'm going to do is first of all have a look see if we've got um, a book somewhere which I do I'm going to use this one <clears throat> so this is just an old book that I picked up from the charity shop uh, yeah however <laughs> the pages in it are really really thin and lovely so what I'm going to do is take some of these pages out um, I do like these um, like I say they're really really thin so they're, they're as thin as like tracing paper so they're just lovely um, so I'm going to use that and what I'm going to do is rip it into strips and then I'm going to put um, some of this, just some um, PVA glue, so just some cheap PVA glue. So let's do this all in little strips and bits um, because I don't want the edges to sort of, I want the edges to look a bit nicer than what they do. So I'm going to put this bit I think on speed up, so one of that, there's two there. So it's literally just, I mean these will be tiny bits and we're just going to sort of glue them around just like that. Um, and just just to make it neater and then I'm going to paint it black again um, so uh, I do need some PVA glue um, I have a little dish here and I do have a huge um, five litre tub from B&Q because we use this when um, we got our hallway plastered and um, my husband just gave me what was left which of course I'm going to keep aren't I because it definitely comes in handy for other things and then just using some water from my spray bottle I'm just going to put um, equal parts of water so it's just um, one part um, what do you call it do you know what um, I'm going to just use this brush so it's going to have some black in it but I don't mind um, okay so it's equal parts of um, Oh, PVA glue and water so this is just the brush that I've used um, and I have just cleaned it but the water was black so but um, we're just using it as a paste really and I'm going to paint over black so it just saves me getting any of my new ones out and these are like my old old scruffy sort of brushes anyway so anyway yeah so all I'm going to do is just brush on some of this and then we're just going to go, like I said, we are going to end up going on speed up with this, but I just, I'll do the first couple with you. And it just makes that edge just look that little bit better. Um, and like I said, it's a really, really thin paper, this as well. So it's really good. I think I may need just a little bit more um, glue in there. Um, I think I put a 
touch more, a, a, a bit too much of the um, of watering, but yeah. So, um, but yeah, school glue is brilliant for this, and um, PVA glue is just perfect for this. So, um, yeah, so any any white glue actually would work. Um, and we're just watering it down. It just makes it um, nicer to work with. So yeah. Okay, so um, so it's like paper mache really, isn't it? So I've got plenty in there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue. So I'm just going to rip bits off. Um, and we're just going to do really, really small amounts. And um, we're going to use our mixture. Uh, oh, that's much better. Um, I'm going to use our mixture just to coat it all over. And I'm wanting to just make those edges look so much better than what they do um i just don't like the look of that and i think if we have it a nice smoother edge yeah it'll be better so i am going to do the inside as well so the inside looks nice um so, i mean this is going to be covered um so we are putting a piece on the top so it will be covered but still yeah um you you are going to see the edges so i think you know if we as long as we take like make it look really pretty um well not really pretty just look a bit better i think it would be good so like i said i'm going to put this on speed up this bit because we are literally just going to coat over the whole thing um cover it dry it off cover it with the black gesso and then um i'll be back so yeah if you want to watch it, it like i say it'll be on speed up if not then please do feel free to skip it so yeah so enjoy
Okay, so <laughs> I've just realised that I didn't press record. So what I'll do is I'll tell you what I've done. How bad is that? Right. Okay, so um, they were all black pieces and then I've just got out some acrylic paints um, from my stash. So these, the paints that I'm using um, today are actually from Craftbox and I just thought that I would get some different coloured paints out and then have a look to see what colours I would like this to be. So um, I ended up, um, so you can see where I've had a look to see what colours um, would go nicely with this. Um, and I've ended up with the peach actually, the summer peach because I thought that would be quite nice um so what but what I thought I would do from there so I have just blasted these with my heat gun so um I quite like the idea of a bit of purple but I'm just going to use my finger and I'm just going to sort of rub it on um just over so that we're still getting that color coming through but it's picking up all that texture so um yeah so that's what I thought would do um, not all over, just on some areas, but I just thought how nice would it be to, um, to bring in some other colours. I was thinking of the orange, but I'm not liking that orange, so I'm not going to go with that. Um, I am going to go with this blue though. Um, and again, like I said, I'm just using my finger to um, blend these in together just like this so I ended up just painting the the base colour um with the peach um but you know I quite like how it is all sort of looking so I think that looks really really nice and it is blending quite nicely together as well which is which is one of the things that we we do actually want to have happen so just bringing in this peach again because I want to keep some of that peach in because it just looks absolutely gorgeous um i don't know why i don't really use it that much um it's going to end up drying out i know that my favorite one the vintage paint in the aqua um has started drying out i'm so look at that isn't that lovely it's like an ombre effect and then just put my finger a bit and bring a bit more of the that vintage color in because it's just gorgeous I mean how nice does that look now I mean doesn't that look lovely so let's do the same on this side so again just using my finger just to bring bring that color in um, and what I will be doing as well I think um, I'm gonna have a look in my stash for some embellishments um, maybe just some like gems or something um, to even to spice it up a little bit more I don't know why I put my finger in that one because I don't want that colour. Because um, I thought that would be quite nice uh, just to put some gems on or even just some handmade flowers. Actually, I just thought what about the flowers from the other stamp sets? That would look really nice. Right, I am loving the handle. I mean, that handle looks fab. Um, I've also got out, I'm going to use this um, souffle, which is the purple constellation one, and it changes colour as you look at it, which is super, super fun. Right, let's do the same over here. So again, um, it's really like, because there's a lot of texture to this, because of the way that we've put, popped on, um, oh, our like the paper just to disguise there is so much texture in it and it really really is lovely um but i mean this is just one of the ways that you can sort of i mean, you decorate your mirror however you want like i said i'm experimenting i'm having a play um i haven't been in the craft room for ages um and yeah this is just something that i really want to have a go at so bring in some more of that this gorgeous gorgeous peach in so just to brighten that up um we need a bit more of that up there and i think that blends using my fingers it's blending really nicely so when i was looking at the different colors that i wanted i looked at blending them but with brushes and it i wasn't getting the blend that i wanted so i highly recommend get your fingers in there and just go for it i mean that has blended out really really nicely and i mean i have a finger for each sort of paint so yeah i mean 
that just looks lovely as well so that's going to sit like that and then this is the back piece so um I'm just going to grab some of that purple and it doesn't really matter um, if they don't match up to the other sides and stuff because yeah I don't think it matters anyway so really and as you can see all oh, that gorgeous gorgeous texture so let's bring some of this colour in and a bit more that might be a bit too much but we can work with it oh I love I love I love I love I just love how that texture is brought out and looks. Like I said, this is going. We are going to dry brush this with some white gesso. It wouldn't be me if I didn't do a bit of dry brushing. And then it's always. I always find that when you're doing a mixed media piece, especially something like this, um, it's always the embellishments that really, really help it um, stand out. Oh, I love that. I really, really love that. Okay, right, just want. To cover up just that little bit there okay so I'll make that nice and bright um, and then there like that just because I want it to just look really really nice so uh, and then a bit there so you can go over it as many times as you would like um, you know and it just blends more and you just get a more intense colour so um, yeah so just do as many as you want but yeah highly recommend having a play um, with paints in your fingers because oh it just feels so good to be all messy doesn't it right loving that okay so I'm absolutely loving what I'm seeing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to blast these, dry these off. I'm going to come clean my hands because they're quite dirty. Um, and then I'm going to get my white gesso out. We're going to white gesso them. And we're going to put everything together. Um, and I'm also going to look for some embellishments as well of what we can build our little piece up with. So yeah, I'll be back in a second. Okay, okay, so I am back. So these are our pieces. I actually haven't got anything out of my stash yet. How bad is that? Um, I do have, however, lots of bits already um, coloured up. I've got a few bits there that might go. Um, so I think I'm just going to sort of go from my box full of um, stuff that we've already got because I think that um, will be lovely. So first thing is first. I do have my, um, oh, what do you call it? my glue gun on the go so that um, we can um, yeah glue all of this together I'm not sure I'm going to glue everything together but yeah we'll see right um, I'm just going to go around um, if I'd thought properly about what colours I was going to use and what I was going to do then I think um, I would have used um, white gesso on this oh i've just thought you know what will make it look amazing instead of white um oh what about my nouveau mousses i think they look absolutely gorgeous and i'm thinking um that right just yeah so just so that I can show you, so I kept this one and um, I do have my other ink gold so I'm not sure if they have, good. yes they've turned as well. So if you put your fingers in or add water, my silver's fine, um, into either your ink golds or your nouveau mousses, what can happen is they can turn mouldy. So I don't know if you can see but that is all gone mouldy and that's because it did dry out so I kept putting water in it. Um, it's gone mouldy quite a few times. Normally I just scrape off the top and, um, and use it. However, I have bought myself a brand new um, gold but in the Nouveau Mousse. So that one can go. But as you can see, the same thing is starting to happen with the bronze. So the bronze did dry out and then I started adding water. I've never put my fingers in but as soon as I put the water in um, but it can also happen with your um, fingers as well so this is why I say never ever put your fingers in always take a little bit out because honestly um, it does help prevent your products from going off so I'm just going to 
or go mouldy. If they do go mouldy, then just get a spatula or something um, and you can just um, scrape it off. That's why I was doing my Inca Gold. However, there be, might be cases where um, that'll happen. Um, I know our poor Julia, it happened to her. Oh, look at that straight away. Um, and she ended up with, um, and it was really, really bad to the point where you couldn't save it. Um, but it's just, you know, check your products, um, especially like your mousses and stuff. And just don't put your finger in, take a little bit out and never, ever put your product back in either. Um, because again, that can cause it to go, um, mouldy. So, um, yes, you might be wasting a bit of your product. However, it's better than having to throw the full thing away oh I love that I mean how nice has that just brought in um made that so I'm going to put really really thick layer around here um yeah and just like this so I am just using my glass mat but no it was it's actually I mean those two products have unfortunately gone in the bin they were so expensive as well I really love Inca Gold um but they just yeah like I said they went mouldy and I don't want to have to keep replacing them um all the time so I thought I'll try the Nouveau mousses um now the difference between them is your Inca Gold has got more pigment so it's definitely much nicer product um as in it covers so much better um it looks um yeah I'm trying to think it's, it's like it is a, it's a stronger pigment on it than your um your mousses um but you can achieve it with your mousses you've just got to do um extra layers but the price of the the mousses is just so much cheaper so so yeah, so you've got to sort of wait it up. If you're going to use it all the time, then highly suggest Inca Gold. But if it's going to be like every now and again on like how I use it, then um, your mousses are fine. But I do love my mousses. I love using them. I just think they really, really um, add to your project. I mean, look at how gorgeous that is. I mean, how gorgeous is that gone? Isn't that just beautiful? So there's that one. So let's do the same with this. So I'm going to go over the top with the colour like so making sure to get all that lovely lovely texture so this is just instead of me doing um, the white dry brushing um, so it's still bringing out the texture and then using my finger let's just put loads on that edge there just like so um, okay Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Right, okay, just like that. So that is looking lovely. Better put some on there because I'm not quite sure if you're going to be able to see it. So um, just make sure it's completely covered. There we go. So really, really nice. Loving how that is looking. So let's grab this and let's do the same. So um, just sort of brushing over with my finger um, just to bring out all of that detail and all that texture. Um, but then most of you know that I love my texture. Okay, so now I've done that, hopefully I've got enough on my mat. We're just gonna go around this edge and we are going to coat it in the bronze, just like this. I must have a drink. My daughter made me a lovely cup of coffee, so I must make sure I drink it because I end up always leaving them to go cold, which is such a shame. Okay. Oh, I think we might might just have enough. Oh, that was good, wasn't it? I wasn't sure if I'd have enough then. Right. Okay. Loving that. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just gonna oh, look at the state of my hands. <laughs> Yeah, um, right, mind you saying that I have no nail varnish on at the present, so my nails look terrible. And I don't know about you guys, but I've soaked my nails and everything, and I cannot get the black gesso off them. I've tried, but I'm sure, you know, when you're out and you're putting your hand sanitizer and stuff on, I'm sure people think I don't wash my hands. But I just can't get that, um, Right, it would have been quicker for me just to wash these, but never mind. Okay, right, what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do 
is we need to line these up so it's going to go that way like that so I know this looks black but we are going to have that in there so if we yep yeah, so it needs to sit there so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my glue and we are just going to put some glue all the way along here like this and I'm putting plenty on because I really want this to have a really good adhesion um, and then what we're going to do with the other pieces we're actually going to come in with the glue gun so let me just grab that I may need to grab some um, glue stick so let's just grab a few okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go all the way around like so oh. I knew I'd need another one I want the big long ones so that they'll last so much longer but I don't know where I'm about to get them from okay right so just like that and then we're just going to line that up at the top and stick that down so that's a bit wonky you don't want it wonky there we go oh just okay so I mean you can see where my cutting hasn't been brilliant but that's fine um, there is there'll be a way that we can hide that maybe with some ribbon or something or even um, you know we could even just put the um, yeah what do you call it on I think that looks so cute I really really like that isn't that just awesome right okay let's turn it over because I just want to add this and I think I'm going to just add it onto the back just there um yeah but before I do um I think I want to squish this oh, look. because I think it'd be nice if that is sort of flat so it's so I'm just going to use my thumb just to flatten that end down some of that excess off um, yeah perfect I think that works really nicely so again just using my glue gun and we're just going to pop that on there like so so that will be our hand held mirror so I'm just making sure everything's nice and straight or as straight as I can get it okay so like that oh, I love that I absolutely love that how cool is that <laughs> oh that is brilliant right oh. now I need to be careful because I've got bronze everywhere um because we didn't give it a chance to dry which was a bit silly really but you know Right, oh, I've just thought what we can do around the edge. We could actually use our glue gun around the edge and then disguise it. So, it can be as if we've got a bead going all the way around. So let's do that. Yeah. Right, and then don't do this at home because that is hot, but yeah so that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to push the glue into there um but please please do be careful because this is super super hot um I am waiting for a few seconds for it to um cool before I do it so and you're best off wetting your hat finger as well which is what I'm doing on the water um yeah because obviously you don't want to burn yourself but that's going to give it a lovely sort of finish isn't it and then if we use our mousse we can uh, go over that so just hopefully it'll look seamless well that's the plan anyway whether that's going to work or not I don't know um, this is all new to me I really have just had an idea and then um, I've just oh 
<laughs> I've just sort of gone with it and while we've been there okay so if there's a touchy edit there I do apologize I've just spilled my water everywhere all over the desk and everything so um all I've done is off camera um I've just put the glue right the way around the mirror I've just taken out some more of this um copper um colored embossing mousse it is actually fresh copper and then we're just going to go around the whole edge of that using um, our finger and it just helps disguise it just that little bit more so well that's the hope anyway and I've just done the little joint here as well so yeah um, I think that looks so much better and we definitely know that it's not going to fall apart as well so I have to admit very rustic looking um, but super fun to make definitely super fun so I think my um, my nieces will love this um, however it will be going to um, her chanda for the show so yeah I'll have to have to make another couple so okay let's do this okay and then I just want to do across the bottom I'm hoping we've got enough we may not have so I may have to pull some more oh no I think we may just yeah there we go perfect right okay so there is that so that is our mirror all done um yeah so I'm just gonna that's gonna all dry as well um well we're gonna start de um decorating it up so let's have a look now I was going to put this on the frame um however I don't know if I want to no I don't think I want to I think I like to use it for something else so loving having um Edna there definitely love the bees now I really want to take advantage of some of these gorgeous gorgeous flowers because I think it could be oh we could put a flower on the back do I have a pink one yes I do because I think it'd be nice with a, a flower on the back so we could have one of those um we do have sort of these Oh, those butterflies do go quite nice. However, it's not what I'm wanting. Um, hmm. Oh, I quite like that. Oh, I'm off camera. Quite like that on the bottom. I think that looks really sweet. Yeah, I do like that. Hmm. <clears throat> Now, can we get away with it being that big? I think so. I think so indeed. So, yeah, let's do that. So I'm just going to... And then just pop some along there. And we're just going to pop that in. And stick it down. Okay, so there's our first piece stuck down. And then I'm going to get Edna... I'm going to glue her down. So I am using my heat gun for this. Um, but you can use whatever glue you have to hand um, to create it. And then I'm thinking, oh, that hides that joint perfectly. So let's put lots of glue on. Um, and then we're just going to... There we go. Oh, I like that a lot. Right, just making sure. That, yeah, that is lovely. I do like that. Right, I am, however, where's my scissors? I'm just going to... Um, oh, I feel like I need to cut this bit off. Hmm. A bit late now, isn't it? Right, we'll leave that. Okay let's have a look now we do have our gorgeous um floor but i think she's a bit too big and then we do have flowers which i really really want to to use 
but I'm thinking let's have this um what do you call it um so it has no white on it so we'll fussy cut it so that there's very little white um now I did colour quite a few in the same sort of colours um I try and do quite a few in the same colours, if I, um, especially if I like it. If I don't like them, I only do one or two. But, um, yeah, I love this com combination, so, okay. Oh, see, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, look at that. I mean, we could have that there. I'm liking that. Um... I really like the idea of having this up in that corner but we need to get rid of that stem so let's do that so I think it's just going to be a matter of me building up the um, what do you call it all the different flowers and embellishments I'm gonna have some of the bees on because the bees are just too cute not to um, but I think that the majority of them I'm going to want them to be cut um, perfectly so I like that what else do we have I've got some oh oh that's a nice one that actually works quite well um, and then we could have that there uh, what else do we have oh, I've got an opposite one to that so again we could have that and that do we have a smaller one what else do we have we must have a smaller one surely 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 uh, oh what about the roses they will work they're, they're cute and gorgeous and absolutely fun to work with oh love 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 um, what about if we pop a red one just there like that and then maybe have one there I also have as well some greenery so um, all prep and cut so we could have coming down our mirror um, we could have some greenery um, just look in see what else I have because I could also have sort of that coming down. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I think this is looking a bit cluttered, isn't it? So I think that... I do like that one, but I think I'm going to go with that one. Yeah, I think that one just goes better. Um, oh, let's see. Before I cut that off, let's see how... I'm liking, no, I'm not liking that. Right, I'm liking what I'm seeing, so I love that. Um, I'm loving the greenery vines. I must, I'm sure, absolutely positive, I've got loads of these vines. Um, because I know I was getting annoyed with myself cutting them out. Um, yeah, but I did make sure I had quite a few of them. So I will need to cut these out much better. Oh, see there, I think that works a treat. So while we have that um, everything down, let's, yeah, let's just do it. So that'll stick, oh, that down. But let's pop a little bit on there. Okay, so just like this. Ooh. Right. Oh that there right okay so there's that um just have a quick sip of coffee mm, really really nice okay oh come on so i'm getting glue sticks everywhere so that's stuck now i'm loving this so um to go there and then loving this flower so that can just stick there and then I'm loving this rose just sort of there yeah let's stick a little greenery in and I know I have lots of these I like to cutting these ones out um, 
So I don't like cutting everything out, I must admit, but I do love fussy cutting. Um, so yeah. Right, okay, so that one just goes down on this side like that. Do I have any more? You can sort of tell I was getting fed up with cutting these out because I've got some that are cut out perfectly and I've got some that are cut out with loads of white on. So yeah, um, it's what I tend to do when I'm mass, um, mass fussy cutting. Okay, so there's that and then I want this flower perfect. Okay, we need another glue stick, so let's pop one in. Right, just like that. Now I put plenty on because I thought it'd be quite nice to have it slightly, slightly raised. Okay, so that's what we've got. Actually, I want that moving over just ever so slightly. And just having that little bit of extra glue on really helps. So that's the front, which I am loving. And then this is the back. And yeah, I don't think I want anything else on the back. I think um, I think the back of it is fine as is. So are we finished? I think we might be. Um, oh dear. I've just dropped all of my little um, embellishments everywhere. Actually, we're not finished. We're going to put this bumblebee on. Where's my glue? So, right. And he's just going to sit there like so. Oh, looking gorgeous as always. Um, I do have some hearts. So, do we want a heart on? Yeah, why not? Why not? I like that. Really like that. Right. Okay, let's put these back in my little dish so I can use them another day. Okay. Um, let's move all these little bits of rubbish and um yeah, I'm thinking of some gems. I don't like them ones. Nope. Don't like them ones either. Let's see what dropped. Oh, these ones look nice. Yeah, I like that one and that one. And then one up there, I think. Yeah, really, really like that. So there you have it, there's my mirror. So yeah, it's a bit of a, <laughs> yeah, an experiment, I have to say, um, but I have had fun, um, and you know, that's the thing, isn't it? Sorry, I'm just, you wouldn't believe the amount of stuff that's just sort of fallen everywhere, so I'm just sort of picking it up because I do have Lady in the room with me, and as most of you know, Lady um, likes to take things, I've just seen them ones, they're nice as well, aren't they? Anyway, Lady likes to take things from my craft room and then I have to chase her around the house to get them back. So um, I found that it's much better to make sure that I pick everything up um, before, yeah, she gets it. I've got some pearls as well. I wonder if they would be nice. I think I'm just looking to, yeah, I think it's all just, um, I'm overdoing it now. Um, anyway there you have it that is our project for today loving it absolutely loving it um hope you've enjoyed it as well um but yeah i've really had lots and lots of fun with this i think it's been quite a fun um a fun project so yeah anyway i'm gonna leave it there thank you so much for watching please do hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber but also please do go and see all the other ladies who are um yeah who've been working with all of the lovely new stamps from our lovely Julia um, and just go and um, check them out anyway um, and have a look at all their other videos because honestly these ladies are so so talented I mean they're super super talented so yeah definitely full of inspiration full of ideas full of everything so yeah but anyway there's my mirror I hope you like it thank you again and yeah we'll see you very soon in another video but until then stay safe and happy crafting bye